Hello everyone. Welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to join Windows 10 computer to Azure Active Directory using hybrid domain join method. If you have an on-premises Active Directory domain services environment and you want to join your ADDS domain joint computers to Azure Active Directory, you can accomplish this task by doing hybrid Azure AD join. When we hybrid join a device, it means that it is visible in both our on-premises Active Directory and in Azure Active Directory. Then, we can manage them in both as well. This way, we are able to use tools such as single sign-on and conditional access while still being able to apply group policy objects and other on-premises utilities. For this demo, we are using the test lab created in VirtualBox. We have two VMs. First is our domain controller named WS2K22-DC01 for MSAPSurat.local domain. This domain controller is sync with an Azure Active Directory using Azure AD Connect tool. Second VM is our Windows 10 client computer which is joined to our on-premises Active Directory. Now let me show you that. Now let's uh, click on the start button and click on system. Now we can confirm that this device is part of our local Active Directory, msapsurat.local. On this VM, in the last video, we have installed and configured uh, Azure AD Connected Tool. So if you haven't seen the last video, uh, I'll provide the link in the description area. So check out that video on how to install and configure Azure AD Connected Tool to sync on-premises Active Directory users to Azure Active Directory. Now, let's see the steps that how we can join our on-premises Windows 10 client computer to Azure Active Directory using hybrid Azure Active Directory join method. To perform the steps, you must have access to both an on-premises administrator and an Azure AD global administrator. Already I have opened the Active Directory Users and Computer Snap-in uh, and uh, under Cloud Objects OU, I have created one OU named Workstations and I have stored computer account of our Windows 10 computer under the OU named Workstations. We will configure hybrid Azure AD join for this device only. First step is to open Azure AD Connect tool. Now let me minimize it. Now, I think we have a shortcut icon on our desktop. So, let's double click on Azure AD Connect tool. Click on configure. We will see a whole list of options uh, we can configure. The one we are looking for is configure device options. Click on configure device options. And click on next. Here we can read over the information about hybrid Azure AD join and device write back. Click on continue. We will now be prompted to enter Azure AD tenants global administrator's credential. So already username is there. I just need to specify the password and hit next. As you can see, it is connecting to Microsoft online to verify the credential. Here select the device options which you want to configure. Right now, we are going for Configure Hybrid Azure AD Join option and that is selected. Click Next. On this page, we will select what types of devices we intend to join. For this video, we are only going to be onboarding current Windows 10 devices. Choose Windows 10 or later Domain Join devices. Click Next. We will now create the service connection point in Azure to allow our devices to read Azure AD tenant information. Check a forest name under forest. In our case, it is msapsurat.local. Click on the drop down arrow and choose Azure Active Directory as authentication service. 
But first, we need to select the checkbox in front of our forest and then click on this drop down arrow to select authentication service, which is going to be Azure Active Directory. Finally, click on add and provide credential for our on premise enterprise admin account. Let's type the username and password MSF Surat slash administrator and his password. Click OK. Perfect. Click Next. Click on Configure to start the process. Everything should only take a few seconds. As you can see, configuration complete. We'll be told to configure some additional steps. Click Exit when complete. We want to confirm Azure Active Directory join status on our Windows 10 computer. To confirm Windows 10 device registration, we need to reboot them first. So let's go to our Windows 10 computer and let's reboot the computer. After reboot, let's sign into this Windows 10 computer using the credential of DHT01. And let's type command dsregcmd slash status. Let's press enter key. If you see Azure AD join years under device state, that means the device is hybrid Azure AD join. In our case, as you can see, it is yes, that means this device is joined to our Azure Active Directory. Under domain join, we can also see yes, and here we can see our domain name, which is MSF Surat. If the device doesn't show as Azure AD join, yet might be because the computer object hasn't been synced to Azure Active Directory yet. You will need to wait a little longer to complete the sync process. Once you confirm the Windows 10 client computer says it join, be sure to check on Azure side too. To check that, let's go to Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Under Manage, click on Devices. Click on All Devices. And here we can see Join Type is Hybrid Azure Active Directory Join and Registered has a recent timestamp for the Windows 10 device, which is 11th July. At this point, we can begin using the various services Azure Active Directory has to offer to manage all of our domain join devices. Now, we can manage our Windows 10 devices in both our on-premises Active Directory and our Azure Active Directory. So that concludes the video on how to join on-premises domain join Windows 10 computer to Azure Active Directory using hybrid Azure Active Directory join method. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.